What's up guys, it's your boy JK Primetime, I'm back here with another video, we're continuing our series looking at the first round predictions for um, all the teams here in the first round. Um, the next team we have right now is the Jets, now the Jets are a big one because they have just recently traded in the past week or so to, um, they traded up from number 6 to number 3 with the Colts. They traded, if I'm not mistaken, in this trade, they gave up two, they gave up two or three, they gave up their two, they gave up the six pick, they gave up the two seconds that they have in this year's draft, and a second round pick next year. Now, from what I've seen with this, we do need a quarterback, I feel like that's what we were going to go with anyway at six. I feel like there is one guy that, us as the Jets, that we have supposedly have in mind that we really want, and that we want to jump up to go after. I really feel like that we have someone there, and um, we really want to trade up to be able to get him. And we, obviously, the, our uh, management doesn't think we're going to be able to get him at six. Again, the Colts were not a quarterback needed team, so I could see why the trade happened. A lot of people were thinking that they were fleeced. I don't think so. I think if they get a good enough quarterback to be able to take up on that role, I think that it'll be all worth it. Um, seeing how other teams, like the Eagles and Rams, did a couple years ago with them trading up, they got. Carson Wentz and Jared Goff, who both had done great so far for their team, so I think it's a risk worth taking if we're getting that franchise guy. Now, when it comes to this pick, some of the needs we have, um, QB is obviously a big one. We do need some help with the offensive line. We're average, but not really that good. We really need to build up a little bit more in the offensive line. We have a good piece or two. We really need to build that up. Um, again, Quentin Nelson could be a guy, but we don't trade all these picks to just move up and get a guard. You're, they, I know 100% they're going to go quarterback. They wouldn't go Bradley Chubb as an edge rusher because, again, you're not going to trade up to get an edge rusher. You're going to trade up to get a quarterback because that's what you. That's the foundation of your team in general. Um, now, I've already talked about the free agency moves that the Jets have done in the previous video, so if you want to see the um, moves they did, I'm going to put a link in the description and probably an annotation on the screen for you guys to check that out to get more of an idea of what they've done free agency-wise so far. But overall, when it comes to quarterback, they have Josh McCann, who they signed to a one-year deal, and Teddy Bridgewater. Both those guys I think are bridge guys. Bridgewater is a guy that's a low risk. He has some kind of ceiling. Hopefully, he's able to pan out and be something good for us. But overall, I still think we're going after a quarterback. And based on what it seems here, I don't think we should go after Josh Allen. I'm not the biggest fan of Josh Allen. The completion percentage in college really worries me. Again, it could be also a product of the town he had around him because he was at school like Wyoming. But overall, I think Josh Allen is a project. And I think that as the as a Jets, we need a more pro-ready guy. We need a guy that's not as much of a project because we can't... I don't think as us, we're ready to take on a huge project. Um, and just in general... Um, the quarterback I think that we need to get, and this could just be, you know, just the hype that's been, you know, surrounding him, especially recently, but I think that we're going to get Baker Mayfield. Broadway Baker is going to be coming to New York. Now, I don't think we're going after Darnold because, A, I don't think he's going to be available by the time we get the three. I think the Browns, if they're going to go with the quarterback, I feel like they will go with Darnold because I think Allen might be a little bit too much of a project. Well, again, we'll have to see because, like I've mentioned in my Browns video, Tyrod could stay for a couple years so they could figure that out. But overall, I think Baker is the guy for us. I think not even just talent. I mean, his track record, he did great at Oklahoma. Um, I know with the conference he plays in, quarterbacks coming out of that conference have been kind of iffy. But I feel like, and you know the height is a big thing too. But for me, when I look at what I want to see out of a new guy in a big market like New York, Baker Mayfield is that kind of guy. I want a guy, personality-wise, to go out there and say, you know what? I'm going to be on this team, and I'm going to lead this team to the promised land. That's exactly what Baker Mayfield brings. I love his personality. I think his personality fits perfectly with a player on the Jets and just in that New York market. I really feel like that we need someone like that because as much as you could say, oh, well, he's cocky, he's this, he's that, you need that kind of moxie, and I want a guy who's not just going to say, oh, you know, it's nice to say a guy that's, you know, well-spoken and say, you know what, I'll, you know, wait for my turn, but I want a guy, when it comes to being on our team, to really come through and just say, I'm coming in, and I'm going to work and take that job. When it comes to Mayfield, Mayfield is a guy that started from, you know, 
started from, if I'm not mistaken, I think he walked on at two different schools before he started Oklahoma, worked his way up, became a Heisman winner. He's a guy that's constantly shown he has great work ethic, and I think he'd be perfect for our team and as a franchise quarterback for us, to be honest. I really have big expectations for him. He's a guy that wants to model, when I hear that he talks about he's he wants to be like model his game after Drew Brees, if he could even be close to what Drew Brees is, I would be more than happy with this pick. I really feel like Baker would be perfect for us, and I just see Broadway Baker as the guy for our team. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Any of these other quarterbacks could work. They could go Josh Allen to get a more pro-ready guy, but in my opinion, I feel like that I like Baker better. Josh Rosen's had some questions about his personality and how he handles with teammates, but again, it's not a huge concern, but when you have a condescending tone, and I don't know, I like, I just think with Baker, I just think his, not his backstory, but just he's this more proven work ethic. Josh Allen, you know, he's come from, you know, a nice upper class family in Pasadena, you know, in California, with UCLA. I feel like I'd rather have a gritty, hard-working guy as my quarterback, and I just feel like Baker fits that personality more, especially for a New York team, than a guy like jo uh, Josh Rosen. Um, but overall, tell me, tell me what you guys think, and besides that, I'm out.